Welcome to another edition of In the Spotlight with the Minnesota Magicians. The Magic in action at the Odie Ice Center in Aberdeen over the weekend. On Friday, the Magicians fell 5-4. Aberdeen started the scoring. Ethan Stewart scored the first one. Colin Raver and Tanner Okeson had assists. Aberdeen made it 2 nothing with a Matt Pulver goal. That was at the beginning of the second frame. Tyler Bossert and Tucker DeYoung get the assists. The Magicians strike back with a goal from rookie Pierce Crawford. Crawford gets his 13th goal of the season. Andrew Zerbin gets the assist as well as Matt Denman. The Magicians took a, or tied it up at two with a Casey Jerry goal. Jerry gets his 16th goal of the season. Mike Wilson gets the lone assist as the Magicians tied it up at two. The game went to the third period. Jackson Gralham gave Aberdeen the lead. Kyle Seamers and Tyler Bossert had assists. Then it was Tanner Tweeten for the Magicians, scoring his first goal of his North American Hockey League career. Casey Jerry gets the assist as well as Matt Denman. Uh, the Wings added a couple more goals. Ethan Stewart gets the goal. Tyler Bossert and Colin Raver assists. The Wings add their fifth goal. Tyler Bossert, Okeson, and Ryan Cook uh, connect on that one. The Magicians added one more but it was not enough. Tanner Tweeten scores. The Magicians pulled their goalie. They had the extra attacker. Casey Jerry and Matt Denman get the assist as the Magicians fell 5-4 on Friday night in Aberdeen. Saturday night, same location. The Magicians start the scoring. Travis Brown gets an unassisted goal, his eighth goal of the season. Aberdeen strikes back with a huge second period. They get four goals. Ryan Cook gets the first one. Tanner Okeson and Carter Rue collect the assists. Then it's Jackson Gralham getting the goal. Rico Ratechuk and Carter Rue get the assist. Then the Wings add one on the power play. It's Tucker DeYoung, Tanner Okeson, and Kyle Seamers get the assists on that one. And about 30 seconds later, the Wings add another one. Will Hammer, Jake Leitner, and Gavin Payne uh, connect as the Wings led 4-1 after two periods. It went to the third period. The Magicians get a power play goal. John Peterson gets the goal, his sixth of the season. Mitch Slattery had the assist. Uh, the Magicians uh, pull their goaltender, try and get some life at the end of the third frame. Unfortunately, it doesn't work. Tyler Bossert gets an empty net. Andrew Knoll and Kyle Seamers get the assist as the Magicians fell 5-2 at the OD Ice Center and get swept by the Aberdeen Wings. Welcome back to In the Spotlight with the Minnesota Magicians. Jimmy Lillidal alongside rookie forward Jake Amicia. Uh, tell us about uh, your midget career. Most of the fans here in the Twin Cities are used to high school hockey. Uh, talk about midgets and where you played. Uh, well, I played up a year um, against uh, 95s and 94s, and I'm a 96. And I started, I decided to make the jump just maybe for development reasons, but I uh, started with CompuWare, midget major. And uh, we lost that year, runner up in state finals, which is. Kind of similar to the tournament, but not really, you know. I mean, it's uh, not just elimination once you lose. It's kind of more of like a round-robin style mm -hmm. with playoffs and all that. And then uh, kind of in AAA, most teams every year change, unfortunately. When you're younger, the core kind of stays. But when you get older, there's a lot of guys moving on. So mm -hmm. the team to be on kind of changes, I guess. So the next year, I went to Honey Baked. And that's another AAA club, just like CompuWare in the same league. And there we play like a 70-game season, a lot of tournaments and road trips. And, uh, you know, it's, I think it definitely gets you ready for what juniors brings. Um, and then the year after, I went and uh, played for Keystone Ice Miners in the Nall, and then ended up getting cut uh, when they had to slim down to 23 players after the showcase. So uh, the team, I guess that year was Victory Honda when I went back to Michigan. So that's where we finished last year and uh, had a good year. Played in the Tier 1 Elite Hockey League, they call it. Playoffs were in Blaine. And then I think uh, that was the weekend I got my tender and now we're playing in the North American League. Uh, tell us about your hometown, your Michigan product, uh, Shelby Township. Yeah, Shelby Township, uh, it's about 35 minutes out of Detroit. Definitely uh, nicer suburbs as you get out, but um, yeah, it's a nice town. Went to high school right outside of it at Henry Ford. 
the second high school. Um, not much hockey, really. I mean, there's hockey players, and you know, it's definitely we all like the Red Wings. But here, <laughs> it's definitely I'd say more hockey. The, the people definitely like hockey a lot more here than Shelby Township. But there's definitely enough fans where I got, you know. I was in the right area to be a hockey player, for sure. But yeah, I wouldn't be bad here either. For sure, for sure. Uh, and talking about that, I mean, you're a Michigan kid. You talked about playing major midget hockey. This past weekend, there was a state tournament. Did you get an opportunity to see that event? Yeah, I, I went for the first time. I think we the only day we could make it was Thursday. With uh, We were in Austin Wednesday night, and then we had Aberdeen the weekend. But I went the first time Thursday, and it was incredible. I. I knew what to expect because me and the boys kind of go at it about AAA in high school, and but I did not really expect 20,000 in the seats and that kind of atmosphere and environment. So that was that was impressive. Uh, talk about your style of play. Uh, I like to think. I mean, in AAA, I was probably more. You could get away with more skill plays, and you know, and I've been kind of trying to change my game a little bit, get a little bit harder and stronger, but what I like to bring to the table I think is s speed and energy. Uh, I don't mind going in the corners in the offensive zone and I think when I do get the opportunity to make a play or score a goal I have the skill set to do that. So maybe, you know, energy forward with uh, some scoring touch. Before we go here, uh, just talking about you know living in a different location. You're here in Minneapolis, uh, an opportunity for you to live, uh, you know, with the Billet family. You live with another player, Matt Sherman, who we're about to talk to here. You know, what's it like living with uh, with him? Well, you know, I uh, first got here and coming from North Dakota all the way to Minnesota, he was the only guy I knew. So mm -hmm. I shot him a text on the way, and it's kind of crazy being buddies from Michigan, how we end up here, and then end up in the same house but yeah he definitely made it an easy transition for me uh, introduced me to you know the boys and definitely without him it would have been a lot harder for sure thanks for taking the time yep thank you welcome back to in the spotlight with the minnesota magicians i'm alongside veteran uh, defenseman matt sherman uh how are things going for for you this season so far with uh you know coming in with playing with the new club um, it's a lot of fun. It's uh, nice to change the scenery. It's uh, nice to meet some new guys, you know, coming from Aberdeen. I was uh, seeing a lot of the same faces, so I uh, really like it so far. Yeah, you played last year with the uh, Aberdeen Wings. Magicians played against you plenty of times. Obviously, you know, an opportunity for the staff to scout you ahead of time. Obviously, you know, yeah. you end up with the Magicians. You played over 50 games last year, so, um, you know, this North American League thing, obviously you're a veteran, but uh, this is your second season in the league. Yeah, you know, it's uh, it's it's definitely a, it's a tough league. It's you know, it, as the season go on, it does it does take a toll on your body. It does slow you down more. But uh, with the second, able to play that many games last year, coming into this season, I knew how much harder I would have to work over the summer and how much how much harder you have to work during the season and how you've got to take care of your body so much more. It's just it's a lot of uh, it's a lot of more responsibility that you have to carry going in as a veteran defenseman so an opportunity for you as of late to be a swing man which is a big thing especially at the junior level to play both sides of the puck we've seen you up front playing you know more of a power forward role and then going back to the blue line where you're probably more used to it um, you know talk about your style of game you know it's it says a lot for a player to be playing at this level and being able to play both positions yeah, well, uh, Coach Meyer asked me if I uh, had any forward experience. I had told him uh, not too much, but I, I did have an idea of what I was doing up there, playing uh, other just other sports at forward and other just areas of the game, jumping up in the play. So it wasn't that it wasn't didn't know what to do as much as just kind of some good luck, I guess. <laughs> For sure. Well, you, you know, we scored you, or we've seen you score a couple of big games. Your first game, you ended up with a breakaway. Uh, you found the back of the net. You know, what'd that do for your confidence? Not only to be playing in a forward position, as you had mentioned, it had been a few years, but to make an impact right off the bat. Uh, it really helped, you know, scoring that first goal just because it, it really got to, sh I, I was able to show the coaches my speed. I was able to show that I am just more than a defenseman. I can put the puck in the net. I can make plays. So that, that was a huge, huge help for my confidence. 
they always say it, you know, they don't teach size. Obviously, you're, you're a bigger guy, kind of hard to miss out there. We talked about you playing the power forward role. Um, you know, how has your size been able to benefit you, especially playing in, in a high level like this? Well, I mean, as I mentioned earlier, the North American League is a very, it's a, it's a grind league. It's a, uh, it's a very tough league. So having a big body and having to be able to go in the corners and pushing guys around and making myself uh, a presence out there, it really, uh, it really helps out. So. It's a monumental weekend for the Magic. Ten games left, you know, a couple points back from a playoff slot. You know, kind of a frustrating uh, weekend. You guys did win Wednesday against Austin. Um, you know, how big is this weekend playing against Aberdeen? For you, it's got to be huge. You're playing against a former club. Yeah, um, definitely leaving Aberdeen last week with a sweep was not what we wanted. We uh, definitely had a bad taste in our mouth, especially me. You know, I played so many games for them last year and just, you know, seeing them win and seeing and me and us and the mm -hmm. team just not winning really really was not what we wanted what we were going for and we'll, we'll be better this week we just i know it matt thanks for taking the time no. Welcome back to In the Spotlight with the Minnesota Magicians. The Magicians play two home games this weekend at Richfield Ice Arena, a rematch against the Aberdeen Wings, a team that swept them uh, this past weekend. The Magicians a couple points out of a playoff spot. They're kind of deadlocked with Brookings and Aberdeen. It's a monumental uh, weekend for the Magic, uh, looking for four points against the Wings. Uh, the Magicians alumni spotlight. E2 Carvinen, uh, Magicians, uh, played with the Magicians two seasons ago. He played with the Magicians during the expansion season. E2 is playing professional hockey in, uh, with, uh, was playing with Tutu of League Mestis and is now playing with Hermes of League Mestis. It's the second uh, Finnish league uh, overseas. So, uh, you know, good luck to uh, E2 Carvinen as he continues to make a splash. Uh, in professional hockey. That's going to do it for another edition of In the Spotlight. So long, everybody.